Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. If this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using a Glowforge laser engraver. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell right down there so you don't miss any of my new uploads. My homeboy sent me these sands slash quotes or something that he found on the internet. And he want me to put him on some coasters because he building his man cave out because you know, football season popping up and all that. But I already made coasters. I did them out of some cork. If you haven't saw that video, I'll link it up above right here. But I found these slate coasters out of Michael's. And in this project, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to engrave on these slate coasters. I'm gonna tell you everything that I'm gonna use. Let's get into it. The materials that I'm gonna use for this project is mineral oil, a digital caliber, and a microfabric tile. First thing that we need to do is get the thickness of the coasters. We got about 0.34 inches. We're gonna write that down somewhere because we're gonna need it for later. Next, we're gonna get the mineral oil and we're gonna dip some on the microfabric tile and apply it to the top of the coasters. It's gonna give it a nice shine and you're also gonna see the engrave a lot better. Let's head to the computer so I can show you the sands and the design and all that type of stuff. These are the sands. Stop being ugly. I'm not always rude and sarcastic. Sometimes I'm asleep. I used to be a people person, but people ruined that for me. I think that's my favorite one. Shh, no one cares. As you can see, I got all of these sands inside of a four inch block because that's the size of the coasters. And I wanna get like an idea of what they look like. And these fonts right here, I got them off of thefont.com. Okay, I just made a second page and I copy and pasted the sands and I'm going to select everything and I'm gonna export it as a PDF file instead of a JPEG or a PNG. And I'll tell you why once we get to Glowforge Print. Now we in Glowforge Print. This side to the right is the PDF file and this side to the left is the PNG file. They look the same, but the reason why I say upload it as a PDF is because when you got a design and it needs to be like separated, you can select one part of the design like so and move it to wherever you need it. But on the PNG side, you can't just select this part like this. It's gonna select the whole entire thing every single time. It's like it's one design. So you have to take the whole design and move it. And when you're doing a project like what I got where it's coasters and they're separate, you wanna be able to move the designs to where you need them to be. Because you just can't select part of a PNG, it's gonna select the whole thing. So we're just gonna delete and get rid of that. And back over here, let's line up the designs where they should be. And that's one thing that I love about the Glowforce, cause like you can zoom in and you can select each design. And if it's kind of like you're looking at the coaster, like I'm looking at the coaster and you can move it or tilt it the way that you need it to be. Once you got your designs everywhere they need to be, you wanna go up here to unknown and you wanna use uncertified material and you wanna put your material thickness and the material thickness was 0.34. That's what we're gonna select. Cause that's gonna be the thickness of it. And then you wanna go to your settings and you wanna go to engrave manual. And the settings that I chose was 900 and I went with 50% power and these lines per inch is like dots or whatever also. So it's like, it just gives it like, I guess a little bit more detail. I just moved it up to 270 and I did one pass. That's what I came up with. Let's press ready. And it's gonna take this engrave 41 minutes and 47 seconds.
Okay, these are the coasters. This is the finished product. Let's get a close up. Stop being ugly. I'm not always rude and sarcastic. Sometimes I'm asleep. I used to be a people person, but people ruined that for me. So funny. And shh, no one cares. These coasters came out really, really good. I really think that mineral oil that I rubbed on top of it, as you can see, it gives it a nice shine and it really brings out the engraved. So you can like really, really see what it says. And these right here are gonna look really, really good inside of his man cave. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some more people that's gonna want some of these. Turned out really, really good in my opinion. If you think they turned out really good, let me know in the comments right now. And yeah, these are the slate coasters. And also, this is the back of it in case some of you wanted to see. As you can see, got these little rubber tip things or little rubble things on the back, I guess to protect it from the table or whatever's gonna be sitting on top of. But yeah, these are the coasters. There you have it. Custom slate coasters with a nice engrave on top of them. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 10K. We trying to get there by the end of the year, and I'm gonna need your help to get there. And I'll see you in the next project. Peace. Any coast is gonna look so good. They're gonna look so good.